Now, this bill, there's no question, would have a big impact on people here in Massachusetts. And WBZ's John Keller is here now with a closer look at exactly how. John? Lisa, the bipartisan consensus around here was that the House bill passed last month would be a disaster for the state's budget and health care system. Well, our expert says the Senate's take may not seem quite as bad, but it doesn't seem much better either. For lower quality coverage, an age tax on the elderly, Medicaid cuts that hurt families across our country. Is this that accurate? Uh, eventually, yes, absolutely. For John Kingsdale, a Romney appointee who was a key figure in the creation of universal health care here, the good news about the Senate bill is the multi year delay in cutting federal Medicaid funds that have made the Massachusetts system viable. Governor Baker had warned of a billion dollar hole blown in the state budget by the House bill, but Kingsdale says the Senate plan allows for some time to prepare. Raise revenue, cut benefits cut a uh, number of eligible enrollees or a number of adjustments to be made. Should people be worried? Well, I think they should, but yeah. it's cleverly arranged so that the dire consequences for individuals are really down the road several years. We agreed on the need to improve the affordability of health insurance and policies contained in the discussion draft. We'll do that. But not, says Kingsdale, for everyone. Particularly if you're an older person uh, in your 50s or 60s, uh, the, the, the amount of the subsidy will be cut substantially, so your premiums on the exchange, on the exchange could double. Table. And because we lean so heavily on those federal subsidies, Massachusetts stands to feel the pain more than others when the cuts kick in. Because in large measure, this is a, a, an assault on the freewheeling Medicaid program that we've had. Now, in a state where health care costs are already among the highest in the nation, a doubling of premiums is certainly a daunting prospect. But while the Senate plan may postpone the pain, it also allows for voter feedback next year and in the 2020 election. And that could have a huge impact. Liam? John Keller, thank you very much. A 